Hey there, son of peeps. Let's go over the son of quickie. Let's do the product gland. So here are two examples of the product gland, right and left. The upper part is the right gland and the lower part is the left gland. Now you can see that the left gland is hypervascular or hyperemic when compared to the right and also has multiple hypoechoic areas. So this is a case of sialadenitis or more specifically parotitis. Parotitis can be caused by viruses such as mumps, herpes, or Epstein-Barr infection. They can also be related to stones or sialoliths obstructing the salivary ducts. And here's a case of sialadenitis of the submandibular gland. You can see that the right gland is much larger than the left gland, slightly hyperechoic and also hyperemic. Oftentimes these inflammatory changes can extend into the soft tissues like the muscle and fat around the submandibular gland. Quite often there's also associated local lymphadenopathy and more severe longer lasting infections can lead to phlegmon and abscess formation. So thank you for watching this sauna quickie. I'll do in the future a more in-depth review of the salivary glands and their associated pathologies. Thank you. Bye.